Good morning guys, um, I hope you're all well. Um, I hope you all had a really lovely Christmas and New Year as well because we are now in 2020. I actually meant to put a video up already in 2020 but I just, I don't know, I really relaxed over the Christmas period. <laughs> so I'm back on it now, that hopefully will be coming up soon. It's all about my hair extensions which I have in the minute. Um, but yeah, I just want to start vlogging because I keep saying it and I know this is so boring for everyone but I always say I'm gonna vlog and I never actually do and it's now one of my, well, my number one goal for the new year is to do weekly vlogging or start vlogging like every two weeks. So that is my plan. If you can hear Bean barking, I apologize. <laughs> um, Beanie, stop! The, I think the reason I always fail when I try and vlog it's because I always try and wait for a week where I have stuff on and a lot of the time I mean I do have things on but it's like at home so I'm working at home and like just daily life but I always try and make sure there's like so much going on so I have like a facial on that day and then I have like fillers on that day and then a hair appointment and like and so often that doesn't happen and so then I vlog and then I think this is so boring like no one's gonna watch this but um I'm gonna stick at it because all the vlogs I watch are just normal daily life to be fair I do have quite a few things going on this week but I'm gonna just start. We're starting, we're daily vlogging. <laughs> um, my skin has been a little bit of a shambles. I'm not surprised because I was eating like an absolute pig over Christmas, but it is getting a little bit better, which is nice. So I'm just been to the nail salon this morning. Um, I've got my nails done, I got my usual color, which is, is it gonna focus? Which is called part of my nose. Um, my nails are disgusting. I've not had gels on for ages, so I've been biting at them. But yeah, so I went and got my nails done this morning and now I'm just going to quickly do my makeup and I think I'm going to film a YouTube video today. So I thought I would start the vlog now, otherwise there'll be no content. <laughs> um, also, side note, I got these brushes before Christmas from So Su by, I think it's Suzanne Jackson. Um, really, really good. But anyway, I'm going to crack on with my makeup and then I will chat to you guys in a bit. my lash extensions on I always forget to do my mascara before I do my foundation <laughs> so annoying I need to get them back on I also feel like a little bit like a it's like a naked mole rat do you remember that program called Kim Possible <laughs> I feel like that animal Done. I'm feeling, ooh, <laughs> feeling a little bit more me. <laughs> um, and yeah, as I said, well, I don't know what I said. I was kind of rambling on. I'm doing my makeup and anyway. Um, yeah, but I hope you all had a really, 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 really lovely Christmas and New Year, and you guys are all ready for um 2020. I know this isn't going to be up until probably like the second week in January, but it's currently the sixth. So I think this is the day everyone's like back to work, back in offices. But yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for the new year. Um, my friend actually explained, well, used the, <laughs> testing my English, used the phrase, I'll say, um, that she's seeing 2020 as a blank canvas and like she sees so much like opportunity and like it's just, you know, it's a blank canvas. I love that. It's a blank canvas and we're all able to decide what happens this year and the way life is going and I'm excited for it. So one of the things that I really am gonna start doing is vlogging and I know I say it all the time, but I promise you I am gonna start vlogging. So welcome to the first weekly vlog um, of this, oh, we in focus? So today is pretty chilled. I'm waiting in on a parcel and then um, my, I have a meeting this afternoon as well at my house, so that'll be nice. And then I have a few things on the next few days, but today is very much a chilled, getting back into work 
possibly filming today. Um, we're currently babysitting, <laughs> dog sitting, um, Johnny's brother's dog. So they're both downstairs. Suspiciously quiet, actually. It's about half past two. I am gonna get something to eat. So I thought I'd show you because everyone always asks what I eat, which I find really weird because I, I don't really care what other people eat, but I'll show you. I'm gonna make a little salad. Um, Beanie and his little buddy have been separated. Johnny's parents came to pick up his brother's dog, so now it's just me and Beanie. Fun fact, I hate this bit of lettuce. I only like the crunchy bit, so I have to like pull off all the, all the green bits. Okay, so I am so aware this looks like the most sad salad in the world. <laughs> Usually I would pair this with some couscous, but I have actually run out into a food shop. So we're having this very plain salad and I'll put some, um, what's it called? <laughs> Balsamic vinegar on top. Day two on the job and I forgot my camera, obviously. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm in the car. Uh, I feel like I always film in the car when I go up to London just cause I'm always early. Um, but yeah, get up to London now. Oh, I haven't even told you this. I'm going up to London basically to see Dr. Nina to get some Botox because this has worn off. And when I'm in the sun, I squint and then I get these like tan lines there. So I need to go and get that frozen. And then I am meeting a friend for lunch and then I'm going to shoot a quick picture because I need to shoot an ad. So yeah, that's basically it. Maybe I'll actually run through my outfit. This trench that you'll see me wearing is from Zara. This jumper is from Topshop. Missing my earrings, missing my earrings. Um, this finger is Bulgari. This finger is my friend's um, collaboration with a brand, Kate Hutchins, so I'll leave that down below. Uh, watch is Cartier. I'm only doing this because I know you guys ask all the time. Bracelet and rings are Cartier. Oh, what is that? How annoying. <laughs> Toothpaste. Anyway, I'll catch you in London. So I mentioned earlier that I was getting Botox. This is Dr. Nina. I'm pretty sure she was in my last vlog, actually. <laughs> and you guys here. But we're just going to do, just tighten up my forehead in this little bit because it's like faded. And then, um, yeah, that's it this time. But Botox is always super easy. It's super painless, quick. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I just popped in an Uber over to Common Garden to meet this one and we're going to shoot a quick pic <laughs> um, and then go for lunch at the Ivy. My head looks all bobbly because of my Botox, but that will settle. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I will chat to you in a bit. I forgot my camera. <laughs> I think you guys saw some iPhone footage though, but sorry for the quality, but we're back on my camera. Um, I just thought I would show you my outfit real quick that I wore today before I changed because the, <laughs> you see Beanie. The um, first thing I do when I get home from work or home from London or home from anywhere is put on my comfies. So I'm gonna show you my outfit and then I'm gonna change into my comfies. So I had this Zara trench coat on. Um, I had this Topshop jumper on, Gucci belt, Topshop jeans, and then also these boots from June London, which I'm obsessed with. I'm actually working with them at the minute, and I love their stuff. So I have these little um, mock croc patent booties. And yeah, that was my outfit. That's all that's really happening today. I need to crack on with some editing of a video um, this evening. And... Um, yeah, let me turn you around. Botox is set. Oh my god, I'm shiny. <laughs> so Botox is fine. I mean, Botox, the way it works is that you can't see the, like it doesn't start working for another few days. So I'll check in with you probably at the end of the week and show you that. But we ended up, why is this not? Yeah, we ended up doing not just the bit in here. We ended up just topping up my whole forehead. So I'll be very frozen soon. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's basically it for tonight. I'm going to stick on my uh, comfies and I'll show you them because I feel like people are going to like them and then I'm going to go for a little sunbed tonight I think and also I have to go pick up some mail from the shop which is down the road so I will do that okay so comfies um this little cashmere set from the white company I think it's sold out now but they always have really gorgeous cashmere pieces in and I got this for Christmas so it's got the matching bottoms as well which are super cute so yeah 
I will link um, these down below or some similar ones. So I'm going to clean this office and then chill out for the day. I want to show you this bag though, which I got from Topshop. Um, it's in this like weave print, which is very like, is it Bottega Veneta? <laughs> um, but I really, really like the style and I actually just used it to go up to London. I bought it for the beach in Dubai actually, but I took it up to London with me today just because I had a few things to take with me and it's just like the perfect tote size. Like it's not too big, not too small. Fits my shoulder, it's just, um, yeah, good little buy. So I thought I'd include that. Okay, so it's now Wednesday. Um, I just took Bean to the groomers and I'm gonna show you him in a minute because he looks so cute. Um, and then I'm gonna run out for lunch with a friend and then I have work to do this afternoon. But I had a really exciting delivery of a teepee for my dog. So we used to have, used to, we used to have a teepee that would sit in this corner in the lounge. Um, but Johnny hated it, so my friend took that for her cats, and then I ordered a new one because I found this brand on Instagram and I literally fell in love with their teepees, so I'm going to set that up um, and let Beanie get in it, but let me show you him, oh my god. Look how cute you look, <laughs> look how cute he is. So this is the brand, the groom room, if you're from the UK, Beanie, Ugh, okay it's annoying him. The uh, brand is, like the brand, the company is Inside Pets at Home. So I just dropped him off for an hour there and they did him a little groom, but he looks so cute. I'm gonna take his bandana off because I don't think he likes it and then I'm gonna set this TP up. I'm literally in the biggest rush, but I really wanna open this before I go. I think I have like 20 minutes um, <clears throat> to find an outfit and get to where I'm going. Anyway, this brand is called Dog and TP. I'll show you the branding. If you can see, um, I'll link them down below, but I this is not an ad or anything. I literally just found them and fell in love with their stuff. I think it's international as well. But it only took like a week, maybe two weeks to get here. Um, and I don't think there was much shipping involved. I think it was like only $10. Open this, yay! Open here. Oh. Oh, cute! Look, it's in your bed! Okay. So I went, they've got loads of different um, styles, but I went, Hold on, if you please on this, I'm gonna be so angry. You go outside for a wee wee. But yeah, I went for this color combo. So it's gray and white dotted um, print. And they have so many, like literally so many different styles and they're all really cute, but I thought this one would look nicest in our lounge because our lounge is, um, is, what was I <laughs> Our lounge is gray. There's lots of different sizes, so I went for the medium size, I think. I'll put all the info down below. Guys, I'm usually like really good at flat pack, but I just cannot for the life of me figure this out. I think I figured it out. <laughs> you need this, which is the actual TP, because something screws into this. Aha, uh -huh. we cracked the code. Right, so. Okay, so I'm going to say this was one of my better purchases in the last few months. Actually, this is my best purchase this year because it's like the 6th and <laughs> I'm so obsessed. Like, I'm literally, I can't even believe this. I'm so happy with it. And it looks, we used to have one from made.com which was like, the TP was nice but the colours weren't that nice and it was like felt material. Whereas this I just think is so freaking cute. And then I just showed this on Instagram, but I'm only going to do one side because I can't bother to tie it up. But if he wants to have like a sleep, you can show his curtains for him. <sighs> okay, I'm literally an obsessed dog mum, but like this is the best thing I've ever done for my dog, I swear. Um, I'll leave the company down below. <sighs> so it's a lot later now. I don't think I've ever actually spoke to you guys about my blog, and that's what I'm doing right now on my computer. So I thought this is a good chance to... Ooh stop it um to show you because i don't think i've shown anyone on youtube or spoke to you guys about it so if you didn't know i have a blog it's always linked down in my description box where i have like um fashion posts coming out probably it's like two or three times a month and i also have a wish list on there which is where i 
hope well i try to do it weekly um but usually it's like every two or three weeks i will update my wish list and that's all the things from all the shops that i'm loving i'll put into a little section on the blog and you can shop them and i also have a page where you can shop my whole instagram feed so i'm going to show you that now okay so this is my blog um when you enter it it looks like this so you can scroll along here into different sorry into different categories um down here is my instagram so you can click into any of these and it will take you to my instagram and then down here is all my posts so i do things like this where I, well this is all the christmas content but yeah i just have lots of like fashion posts and that kind of stuff and then you keep going down and it's my youtube and then over here is my pinterest so if you go up into this corner over here sorry for this lighting guys um and then go into the instagram tab let me show you it will take you to a page like this so on here you can click into any of the pictures and this is all the items that i'm wearing and then you can click into any of these items and it will take you to the page and it will show you what i'm wearing and you can just shop it that way so that's really handy and um, if there's things that are sold out i obviously link things that are similar and then also up here if you go into the shop tab and then it will take you to my wish list. So this is all the things that I'm wanting or loving on the, um, the shops right now. And I update this quite often. And again, you just click onto any of them and it will take you to the website. But yeah, that is basically it. I just thought um, I should take the chance to show you it whilst I'm on the blog. And um, make sure to always check my description box because I always have um, the link to it. And usually, as I say, every week there's a new post on there. But yeah, that is basically it for today. I am just well finished my gin and sorting out my wish list and then i'm gonna get an early bed i think maybe go for a bath but um yeah i will catch you in the morning because i'm heading up to london for a few different things and yeah so i'll see you tomorrow we are on a roll i've managed to vlog every day this week so today is thursday is it yes is it yes Thursday um, I'm heading up to London again today and I've got a few things on so I originally only had um, a hair appointment I've actually ended up booking in a facial at Harley Street injectables which would be nice so it's I think it's um, I'll get the proper name for you but it's basically like a hydrofacial but a little bit more intense I think and then I'm gonna meet a few of my friends for I think a drink and catch up so I'll take you along with me I'll show you my outfit real quick before I leave Okay, so I'm wearing this oversized, is it going to show up? It's pinstripe, um, oversized pinstripe blazer from Zara. Um, I have this little black jumper on, which I literally live in, from H&M. Um, and then I have this little Misma necklace. I have Maria Tash, little stud back here, if you can see. Um, these ones are from a little shop in Winchester called Hambledon. Rings and stuff are the same as yesterday. And then jeans are new from H&M. I really love this cut. They're very tight though. Like I think I could have gone up a size. Like very tight. But I think they're just a really nice cut. And I've rolled them at the bottom. Um, but I think with heels unrolled these are going to look so cool. Old Topshop belt which is always sold out. But I'll have a look for it. And then Topshop leather boots. These are the chunkiest boots ever. But they're so so comfortable. Um, I don't know if they make me look like I've got huge feet though. Let me stand like this. But yeah, very, very comfortable and very soft leather. So I'll leave all of this down below. Okay, so let me turn you around so you can see me. Um, I just got my hair extensions out. I'll explain more about that later because I'm in a rush to go to my facial. But oh my God, I'm regretting it so much. I miss, I miss them so much already. Um, anyway, I'm now going to Harley Street Injectables, which is right here. And I'm going to go and get an Aqua Pure. I think it's called Facial, which is like a Hydra Facial, but a little bit more intense, I think. So I will speak to you afterwards and then I'm going to go meet the girls. So yeah. Like, I had a facial, drink some wine. Now, yeah, so now I'm drinking wine. 
I've caught up with um, Kate, Freya and Liv and we're just having a drink and um, something to eat in sandwiches. So yeah, does everyone want to say hi on my vlog? <laughs> so hi. just with the girls. Hi. Hi. <laughs> right guys, this is the bag that I'm meant to be buying but they only have one left in store and it has scratches which is super annoying because I really wanted it for Dubai next week. So she's going to go check if there's any fresh ones. But this will be my new purchase. I'm getting it to replace this one, which is from Cameron Millen, but so many years ago. So I just want like an upgrade that's nicer. Okay, so this is probably like the latest I've ever stayed in London, like ever. No, honestly, normally, if I'm here for work, I'm like in, by the way, he lives here. I'm not saying like someone at the station, the crossing. Normally, if I come up for work, I'm like in and get back out because it just kills me. But anyway, I really have my heart set on this handbag and they didn't have it in Selfridges. So we're currently walking to um, New Bond Street. Whoops, walking to New Bond Street and I'm gonna hopefully get it in there. And then we're gonna head home, probably have a gin on the train, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Very fair to be doing dry, not dry January, but healthy January, but anyway. Damp January. Damp January, that's a good one, I like that. Yeah. Um, I will keep you posted when we get to the shop. Okay, so, I just spent like a minute taking a thumbnail for this vlog, because I always forget to do that. Um, I didn't show you last night when you purchased, but I got my bag, I'm so excited. Um, let me get the name of it actually. So I actually hadn't seen this bag for very long and that's so not like me normally. I see a bag and I have to love it and love it and love it and love it for like months until I then decide okay I'm going to get it. Um, but I really needed a replacement for the bag I was wearing yesterday. I'm just trying to find the name of this. Okay and then my friend Lauren um, actually bought the bag I think a couple weeks ago. And I saw her at the start of the week, which you would have seen in this vlog, and I literally fell in love with it. It's just like the perfect day tonight bag, like it's crossbody or it's handheld, and I just loved it. Um, and I think it was about 900, okay, I don't have the price. I think it's about 960 pounds, which is a lot of money, of course, but um, it's not like the prices of like the YSL bags that I like or the Chanel bags that I like, which are all like way over a thousand pounds. So I thought it's a really good investment. Um, and I didn't actually buy myself a Christmas present this year, I don't think. So, yeah, so I bought the bag. It is called the Mini Chloe Sea Bag in shiny and suede calfskin. I'll leave it down below for you. But yeah, it was my first ever purchase from Chloe because to be honest, I'm not actually a fan of their stuff. Um, I actually don't like any of their bags that I've seen before. I think they're a little bit like, too like bohemian for me and too like, I don't know, just not really my cup of tea. But I will show you it. So it comes in this cute little dust bag. Um, and then I'll show you, hold on. And this is what it looks like. And I know you, I showed you it yesterday, but um, this is probably better lighting thing. So it's just a really lovely size, um, not too big, not too small. I don't think it'll fit much that I need for the daytime. So I think I'll get my phone in here and probably a battery pack, but I won't get like my camera, my tri um, yeah, tripod. But that's fine for the evening, it's perfect as well. You'll get your makeup. Um, so, how does it open? It's got a little clasp. So it opens like this. Um, also the front is like, this panel here is suede and the rest of it's all leather. So it opens up like this and then, and then it's very simple inside. It's just literally like one pouch and then a little card to hold a bit in there. Um, and then it has this cross body strap, which I need to size up and make the right size. But yeah, so it sits like there when it's on the right size. But yeah, I'm really, really happy. I'm really chuffed with it. Um, especially because I didn't think about getting it for so long. Like normally when it comes to the time of getting the bag, like I've thought about it and thought about it and like I know I'm going to get it for so long. Whereas this was very much like saw it on Monday and bought it on Thursday. But yeah, I'm just super, super happy um, with it. It is my end of the vlog and my new purchase. Um, I was actually going to vlog over till Sunday, but this vlog, I'm editing it right now, it's already quite long and there's been quite a few things happening in it, so I think I'm going to sign off here. Um, everything that I've mentioned throughout the vlog will be linked down below. Oh wait, actually, really quickly, my skin is looking and feeling so nice from that facial. Um, I will pop the name of it down below and also I've been on Instagram, I think it's today this is going up, so I've been on Instagram talking about it more over there. But I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I just feel like my skin, obviously I have makeup on. Um, but it just, after the facial, it felt so bright and clear and obviously like that footage was horrible because it was dark and the lighting was so bad. Um, but my skin just looked fresh and it looked like all the blackheads had come out and um, yeah, it just, I always feel like that kind of facial is just like a nice fresh start. So I got it done at Harley Street Injectables, um, who I know the owner of and she's lovely and all of, they do so many different treatments. So I'll leave them linked down below as well. But yeah, I just feel like I've got a really nice 
glow to my face and um, yeah, it was really nice. So yeah, that is all. Um, everything will be linked down below, of course. So head down there and have a look and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.